Oh, hey, hey. You gave me a, you gave me a start. I uh, did the number. No guns, no knives, not even a fucking hostage, you know? 150,000 American. Most of these pills, they got food on it. Ketchup, hot sauce, duck sauce, every condiment known to man. Food bags must be their trademark or they're just sloppy motherfuckers. You know? These guys, they don't spend money on clothes, but they got an impressive array of fucking guns, let me tell you. Major penis envy. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, these guys waving around their tech nines and his really cap shooters with their banana clips and such. I'm starting to feel a little fucking unnerved. You know? I'm sitting there with a 15 year old fucking desperado with fucking brain the size of a marble saying, oh, I'll smoke your ass, Miami Vice. Smoke your ass, Miami Vice. No, that's what they call me, you know, because we're fucking riding everything. Like one guy, one, he makes me take his girl for a spin. She goes down on me before we're around the corner. They want delivery on Saturday. I did a Fred Astaire. You know, I said, uh, hey, what the fuck? What do we look like? Federal Express, motherfucker? You want to work with us? You put up the silver on the spot right now. We're going to fucking take two to... We're going down the highway, brother. They come over and hand me the money bags. They hand me the money bags. And I say to them, okay, man, when shit hits the shore, I'm going to give you a call. And they let, they, fuck, they let me right out of there with their hard earned. You know, they'd shit themselves if they knew I was a cop. Lavez las manos. Is this serious? She ran ahead of beer and I didn't even leave. <laughs> it could be love. Uh, maybe I'm just bored. I mean, this job is starting to get like watching baseball. Ah, quit complaining. You're learning a useful trade for the first time in your life. Yeah, at least I'll have something to fall back on when we fuck up here. Ah, uh, we're not gonna fuck up here. I already fucked up. The only way you'll fuck up as if we get caught. You said that we'd be moving up fast. We will be. This will get us noticed. Adrian, Flower. No, we got company. Anton's waiting. OK, we'll be right there. Let's go. You guys said you wanted more work. Well, we didn't take his job for the benefits. Uh -huh. Oh, you're in luck, boy, Cheek. We just got an opening. My usual collector got the uh, 38 caliber flu. <laughs> Binky says you guys took care of him in uh, lockup. Well, Binky has a tendency to hang out with a bad crowd. <laughs> yes. You mind getting your hands dirty? Nope. Well, get in. Rolf will show you how we do the do. I, uh, I already read the paper. It's for the seat, stupid. You guys are filthy. Looks like Anton got some new recruits. I smell those guys were bent. So much for prison rehabilitation. Fucking Anton. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, and I'll turn them into thieving assholes, prostitutes, drug addicts, psychotic murderers.
She's a second language here. <sighs> Vernon, Vernon, Vernon. This is not Mrs. Yakubov, is it? <laughs> I will have my money now. I don't have your money. Klinoush. Yes, I. Anton can smell the lie. <laughs> you two your mats. Told me to go fuck my mother. Kill him. No, 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 please. Let me try some. Rolf. <clears throat> Excuse me, Rolf. So, Barney. Are you like coffee? Fresh ground coffee beans. And with some fresh ground balls. No, no, you are me. What are you doing, sweetie? I'm not going to bring you along. You sweetie. I call this a bad day. Zuka, you sweetie. Very effective. Very effective. This suit cost me $3,500. And look at this shirt. Do you think you can get aid from this? How much? $14,500 and uh, 37 cents. <laughs> he cheats me $500. You cannot trust these immigrants. After the bed, party! Hey! Get us champagne at our table. Heads up, come on. Oh, all right. <laughs> we must show our friend a good time. Who's the Asian? Him? Must be an emissary from the Born to Kills. What the hell does Anton want with the BKs? If Anton's hanging with him, my guess is something big's going down. Well, whatever he's doing, we'll get our taste. Champagne is to refuse life. But you win the fucking lottery, Bink. Yes, man, I did. <laughs> Bink is lottery. Darla, baby! Give me, give me, Have some give me, give me. champagne, baby! Mm. Yeah. Woo! Binky, who are your friends? Darla, meet Kit. Kit? Jay? Jay, Kit, Darla? Jay. How do you <laughs> Who was that? I think I'm in love, man. One of those entourage from Trinidad and the last place of sex change. She's gonna be a guy? Aaron. Next guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you guys are fucking lying. Darla's name was Dembo. I used to play soccer with him when I first came to this country. <laughs> Binky. Who's that? That, my friend, is more trouble than you can handle. You two. Come.
Joy G. Take care of my family. Hello. Hey, we're going to talk a little business, Darla. I don't do business with women. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that little detail. Listen, if it makes you feel better, is this man enough for you, honey? <laughs> oh. Please, let's do business. That, that really hurt. Rolf, take him. You getting this? Yep. I'm working. Got a light? Excuse me, ladies. Ah, uh, ladies? Funny. Funny as in ha-ha or funny as in interesting? Funny, you don't look like a gopher. Is that a compliment? Not really. So what's your story? If it's a story, it's Stephen King. Nah, I can't be that bad. Oh, no? I'm married to Rolf. Huh. It could be that bad. Danichka. Be careful, buddy. I want you to drop this off. Rolf will tell you where. Go! Go! Boy cheek. Don't open it. Got my little fishes. Yeah, sure. Have a good time. All right, I'll catch you later. Taxi! Hey, your husband leave without you? Anton's in a party mode. Marolf might not come home for days. Want a lift? Why not? Nice tattoo. It's a painting. It's beautiful. I painted it myself. Does your husband like it? Rolf will never see my paintings. Never. Poor Rolf.
How fast can this thing go? 180. How fast were we going? 110, 120-ish. I'd like to try 180. You like danger, huh? That's why you married Rolf, isn't it? Fuck Rolf. Do you? What's it to you? What's it to me? I'd like to know everything about you. I don't talk to the help. The help? Is that what you think I am? Yeah. No, you don't. Because if you did, you would never get on that bike with me. No. You're right. About what? You don't look like the help. Thank you. You don't look like the usual thick-headed, greedy beast that sucks up to Anton. You look worse. In what way? You look ambitious, like Anton's ambitious. Oh, I'm ambitious, all right. Funny. You don't look like the usual greedy, empty-headed bimbo that would marry a Rolf. Fuck off. <laughs> Rolf will kill you if he finds out you did that. Kill me over a kiss? Yes. Holy moly. I got nothing to lose. Buffalo. Buffalo. It sounds so exotic. Just like the, the wild, wild west in the American films I loved when I was little. Some days it's still hard for me to believe I'm really here in America. I bet. So you really miss Russia a lot, huh? Yes, of course. What about Rolf? What? Does he miss Russia? I don't know. He never talks about it. What do you guys talk about? You wouldn't believe me. Try me. What's for dinner? What's the remote wallpaper? You know? Things that couple talk about. He ever talk about his work? Rick Tucci? Listen, I know what Rolf is. When I met him, he and Anton were part of the nomenclature. That's just another word for gangsters. They believed their own propaganda. Every sick and brutal thing they did was justified for the good of our people. Only after we came here did I realize that he did it because he likes it. He is a true monster. Mom. Well, if that's what you think he is, why don't you leave him? Sex that good? No. The sex is brutal and loveless. I'm disgusted by his touch. Then split. Change your name. This is America. 
thousands of women do it every day. I could run to the end of the earth and you would find me. No. I know Rolf's soul. I run and he'll hunt me down and kill me cruelly. Rise and shine, sweetheart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. It's not much of a place, huh? How to let my interior decorator go? Obviously. I need you to pick up our good friend, Binky. He's had an unfortunate run-in with the police. I was hoping for some heavy work. <laughs> I want you to send him to hell. Is that heavy enough for you? Binky Zotov has become a liability. And then Tom hates liabilities. You do it right, you get the better address. And please, clean this fucking place up. It's embarrassing. Let us go. Hey, big guy. Fucking Binky. This is one fucked up deal. It's perfect. Put him on a plane, end of story. A lot of things can happen. That's called life. Who do I got here, the Dalai Lama? Anton wants this guy off the fucking planet or it's our asses. There he is, man of the hour. Hey, Binky! You guys are thieves! <laughs> Anton Semis. Take it. What's this? That's a ticket to Miami, plus four grand to get started. Four grand? It's not gonna last long. Think, think of the alternative here. Trip to the Sunshine State or a bullet to the brain pan? Hmm? I fucked up, baby. Come on. I didn't fuck up. I'm don't fuck that up. We had an agreement. I held my hand. This was the deal of a lifetime, a chance for me to start things around. Now I have to leave town because this psycho Chichesky Agnida blood is so fucking cheap to pay his people out. How about we take a ride over to his hacienda and you can tell Anton yourself he fucked up. Good idea? Get in the car. This is wrong, man. This is wrong. Get in. I don't, I don't deserve this shit. Now he's got me jumping bail. What the fuck I'm supposed to do in Miami? Get a tan. Jay, move. Tan, tan. I get a tan. Oh, shit. To do? Ah, I got there too late. Binky made bail on Blue Town. Is that right? We checked everywhere. His favorite bars. Eh? God, like a puff of smoke. This is not what Anton wanted to hear. He shows he's off the street in a heartbeat. I am not happy. Oh, we'll get him. I guarantee it. Don't disappoint me, boy chick. Can't have that. Time to make history. You know a Siciliano brother. Is that Ricky Tucci? The mother of all deals in the making. You do well. You'll be a part of it. Thanks. Anton! Ah. How are you? Good. Hey. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming. Are you ready to do what it takes? Meaning what? Meaning just be fucking ready, okay? I'm there. We'll see. with the devil. No, 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 no. No. Trust and 
con on me. Don't laugh. You've never had the right kind of whip. This is something that I know about. I've dedicated my life to this. Of course, there's the occasional uh, novitiate gay show or the pissed off wife on a limited basis. But for the long haul, it is Romanian women. <laughs> now, I've fucked just about everything. But for my money, Romanian snatch is the uh, sweetest, most succulent, most pleasing in the world. And I'll tell you why, my friends. For the aerobics. That's why. Seriously, they have these, they have these uh, rubber things. Not dildos, really. More like uh, one of those uh, balls that you squeeze with your hand. All different sizes. And sometimes they are right out there in public, shopping, working, driving the car. They're exercising their pussies. Baby agent. The case will be done in a couple weeks. Of course, I always say that. What do you want me to say? I'll be home in another year? Of course, I always lie. I'm a trained FBI agent. Of course, of course, I do my own exercise. Of course. Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Pinky? I'll tidy him up right here. Don't boy a man! Anton, don't be insane! Give me the gun, give me the gun. If you shoot him in here, you go to jail. Okay? Let me handle this, all right? I want him in the yard in ten minutes. You back. Ten minutes! I'll send it off for all of you. Okay? Okay, I got it. Under control. I'm sorry, my sweet. That really hurt. Our friend Anton seems a little ungrateful. Binky, what the fuck are you doing here? I don't like to fly. Sevilla, champagne for everyone. We don't have time for champagne. No Your champagne. Your only refuse champagne is to refuse lies. What'd you do that for? Gotta go. Let's go. I'm not going nowhere. Come on. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Very original. People have been telling me that all my fucked up life. You should have listened. Okay, Binky. You know the drill. You're gonna let Anton know that you're gonna take the fall. And then you're gonna dance back into that precinct and swear up and down to the cops that Anton knew nothing about the stolen drugs. That was something you jumped into on the side. You got it? Binky! The first break I had in my whole miserable life. Oh, Binky. Sitting pretty with a warehouse full of expired pharmaceuticals nobody knows about. Would have cleared over a quarter million dollars easy. And the beauty of it all was nobody is looking for it because it all had to be destroyed because of, what do you call it? Statute of limitations. <laughs> Expired pharmaceuticals can kill you. So could driving a car, my friend. Come on, baby. And I got shit load of drunk, hungry Albanians drooling all over me to get their hands on the stuff. And because Anton is too fucking cheap to pay 200 bucks for fire extinguishers, I lose everything. You didn't lose everything. Let me tell you a story. Biggie, please, don't. Really, just one story. It's something one of the old Russians would have said only it happened to me. Three winters ago, we got a blizzard. Now... In Russia, they have blizzards, but Buffalo makes Moscow look like uh, the Gold Coast. Couldn't see from here to there. Lot of people died that day. Found most of them frozen three feet away from safety. Hmm, very sad. Anyway, I got disoriented. One minute I knew where it was. The next minute, BAM! Found myself wandering on train tracks. <laughs> like Zhivago, man. <laughs> I'm lost. I can't see. So, I know I'm going to die. And 
The church bells go off. Boom. 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 Like some signal from God. And this little old man appears out of nowhere, just appears. He has a glow all around him, like a halo. He leads me right back to St. Nick's, but he has a homing device and disappears. Never saw the little guy before. He's appeared two times since, when my mother died and when my lung collapsed. Know what I'm telling you? There is an angel here. Right here. And you want me to walk away from that? Ha! That's a very touching story. Pinky? Be smart. Hey, Anton. Nice suit for a fucking immigrant. <laughs> oh, Binky, you're causing me such pain. Pain? Pain is when Darla sticks it up in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy bastard. Whoa, whoa. What whoa. crazy boy chick you got it? Whoa, whoa. You fucking guys going to do anything? It's a little tough right now, Anton. You know, Anton, you never give me the sweat of your balls. And I brought you the right eight score. I did everything. Hijacked the truck, found the Albanians, and you got half because you're a big shot in Russia. And then I get busted over not having fire extinguishers because you didn't pay protection. Well, fuck you, Anton. Fuck you. Want me out of the picture? Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> Hear those bells? What the fuck are you talking about? No, eh? You never heard them in your life. Every time from now on you hear them, you make the sign of the cross, you fuck! Because they just saved your sick little life. I put the gun away, heads back the way it was. Right? Right? I've always loved you like a brother, Binky. <laughs> You're such a fucking liar. You must really think I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> He's such a fucking liar! The next time that I send you for someone, Check for a fucking gun! Yeah, yeah. I don't want them found. There goes another good suit.
Come on, let's put him in the car. I grab his feet. Oh, Come on. He's heavy for a little guy, eh? You got your key handy? Turn him on his side so he fits. Come on. Turn him on his side. There you go. Okay. Well, that's that. That's that? What are you, fucking nuts? Can't believe you just shot our friend. What else was I gonna do, man? The silly fucker should have shut up and gone to Florida. Fuck you, kids, Ben. Well, everything was going so peachy, peachy, we didn't want to break cover. Yeah, that's complete bullshit. Everything's fine. Quite copacetic. Mind bringing me up to speed? Anton's starting to trust us. Why? I'm testing the niggas and trusting the song. What makes you think for a second he's not setting your ass up? Hell, I think you're trying to set me up most of the time. In fact, the only person I do trust is my partner here. Because his ass on the razor edge every day, just like mine, so if you don't like the way I'm doing things, pull me off the fucker. Okay. All right. Let's start over. What makes you think my favorite bored slurping psychopath trusts you? Because we did some heavy work for him. Whoa, I don't want to fucking hear it. I want you to give me something that'll convince me that we're getting somewhere, that you're not just spending the taxpayers' money fucking gangster bitches pretending you work it. Anton met with Ricky Tucci. Well, now I'm feeling warm all over. Well, my guess is Anton is using Tucci to grandfather in the deal instead of the VKs. Anton and Tucci. Come here. Have a look at this. You guys are real photogenic. I think this FBI guy really captured something, don't you? The fuck is this shit? You know about us? No. Quantico sent these photos for us to ID Anton's new muscle. But I see my guy sipping top shelf vodka, ass grabbing all the Russian booty they can eat. Yeah, look, if the feds know about this, I'm out of here. Sands, you hear me? I seem deaf to you. And I don't fucking know. FBI, get down! Sam, settle test! 
force. Dawkins, FBI. Fuck's going on? The fuck you doing? What the fuck are you doing? That's how you fuck your business. Yes, it is. If these two fucking assholes are involved, I've got a man tailing Anton. And I can't find him. What the fuck are you talking you about? You know what the fuck we're talking about? Where's my man, you miserable cocksucker? Put it down. <laughs> Put it down! <laughs> Agent Dawkins, meet Agent Adrian and Flowers. These assholes are fucking cops! Oh, fuck. Where's Simmy, fucker? Yeah, if they fucking knew where your partner was, they would tell you. Well, then my only choice is to go in after him. If you take one more step, I'm gonna empty your head. Sands. Tell your dog to back off. Look, when Anton split from Chesney, he hit two Russian military bases and looted enough plutonium to make a 100 megaton bomb. No fucking way. Yes way. It's just Adrian and Flores have been up Anton's ass for the last three months. That insane asshole has got a nuclear device. He ain't got no trigger yet, but it makes the plutonium valuable to any rogue nation. He just hooked up with Tucci's people, so you do the math. We're on him, period. I'm gonna need more than that. You're on a fucking need-to-know basis, and you don't fucking need to know. What you need to do is fucking follow me down to my fucking office, and we'll sort this scuttle fuck out. Hey, Dawkins. If you fuck up my play, I'm gonna fuck you up. Captain, I want to see my family, or I'm walking. Why is it all you undercover guys become prima donnas? Don't look at me. Oh, uh, you might want to get that car checked out. Looks like it might be leaking. Oil. Jesus, man. Fuck. Fucking Jay. Fuck. Jay. Let's talk damage control. Damage control? Hey, you sound like you're running for office. Hey, what's your problem with this? Problem? Problem. I got no problem. I mean, besides an FBI agent missing. A bunch of crazy rushes that are running around with a fucking nuke. A partner who just blew the guy's brains out and he's in my trunk. What the hell was I supposed to do? Look, what's going to happen one way or the other, whether I did it or Anton did it, only now, the last thing Anton thinks we are, are cops. Do you know what they do to cops in jail? Yeah. What they do to everybody. And I hear most of them get to like it. <laughs> yeah, look on the bright side. We'll probably get the death penalty. You're making me feel a whole lot better here. The only way we'll get caught is if you tell or they find a body. Now, are you going to tell? Because if you do, you are big time fucked. Just let me think here! There's nothing to think about, Jay. You're in this as deep as I am, man. I did some checking up on you. Is that a fact? And? Your last two partners were killed. One was killed. The other's still missing. And for all anybody knows, he blew Dodge with 150 grand in front money. That still leaves one partner that you worked with dead. He got careless. Well, I heard rumors. Well, you heard rumors. You saying that I killed my partner? Is that what you're saying? Go ahead. Say it again, tough guy. Say that I killed my partner. Say that I killed the guy I worked with for 246 days, day and night. Go ahead and say it, you fuck. Fuck you. This 
is a dance. A stiletto dance. What do you fucking say? See, undercover work is a dance. It's supposed to be smooth. Fuck! But you gotta always remember. You could be dead any second. Quit fucking around! Come on in, you pussy. Should have known it, you fucker. You fucker, you brought her. Bonsoir, Lord Emmy High, second brother man. Do you mind if I have a roll? We have some things to work out. This is why we're here, no? You know what's in here? Cellular. 
the telephone? Don't fuck with me, Anton. Nice ring. Mount guard, right? The last we saw, Brother Toy, he left here to open up negotiations with you. This hand offended me! I was letting you in on the deal of a lifetime. And you do this to me over a messenger? You think you can walk in here now and do nothing? You are one crazy bastard, Anton. I have been told that, yes. Should we fuck up a hundred million dollar deal because of a freak? It's your call, second brother, man. The deal still stands. Very reasonable. Huh? Very reasonable. Let's shake on it. Come, sweet dice. Give Anton the gun. Come on, baby cakes. Anton would rather fuck you than to kill you. Fuck you! Never say Anton doesn't do business with women. Fucking gay, Baba. Someone get me another suit. done well, my friend, huh? You've come up fast and you have a real taste for blood. Huh? You saved my life back there. I will not forget. It's amazing what a human being can take. For what? 70 grand a year. It's pocket change. Maybe he doesn't want to give up his colleagues. Yeah, well, in this day of immunity and wiretaps and witness protection, that would be a breath of fresh air. A little friend has been taking pictures. Pictures at the club. Pictures at my home. My home! Even pictures of you, my friend. Ricky, let Rolf give it a shot.
It always surprises me how little FBI agents actually know. Well, maybe he had guts. <laughs> oh, yes, he had guts, all right. Ricky, I'll talk to you soon. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. It's Ricky Tucci has a way of making headlines, huh? Eh? He thinks he's a rock star when he's masquerading as a gangster, but the truth is, he's been dining off his family's sacrifices for two generations. Now, his father and his grandfather, they were bullet-tough men, huh? But Ricky, spoiled brat, but he has the organization behind him. Truthfully, I would like the Vietnamese as my partner in this, you know? They're, they're hungry, they're deadlier, informed by war as we were. Together, we would have been unstoppable, but so goes life, huh? So slapping Darla, change everything a man must have some code of honor that get in the car like now Captain, I need to talk to you. <clears throat> Jay's out. You're out. What? Without Jay, Etar's radar will pick up. And without me, you got nothing. We'll be all over Anton. Illusion of first ten minutes. Sands, if they develop this bomb, the country's fucked. You got that right. If we can find out Anton's next move, he's got to talk to someone. Rolf. The Axeman doesn't talk. Oh, uh, he talks to one person. Who's that? His wife. Say where I was going. I need to know Anton's play. So I know what I'm worth. You're a liar. You're just using me. Just like Rolf. You want to know about Rolf? That's what you're here for. Take 
Take it, you bastard! You're just another version of them, aren't you? I guess you could say that. You're from the same fucking place, Anton and Rolfa. Do you believe that? No. So this got to end. What's your plan? Share me with Rolf until he catches you or you get tired of me? There's an old Russian saying that Men make love out of fear of triumph. I think I'm scared. You should be. I know what you're doing. I know who you are. You're late. Yo, I was looking for Jay. We're not fucking around here, boy chick! I need my people ready to go to war with me. And if you're not ready to do that little thing, you're going to have troubles. Anton type troubles! Great men have always been willing to make great sacrifices. Are you ready to be a great man? If you were me, would you do this for that almost a game? Of course not. Your cut will be one million American. That's nice. What are we doing? My friend, what we're embarking upon will make the Oklahoma bomb look like a hiccup. And this man is the only thing in our way.
Read this. Sans is dead. Yeah? So what? So what? What? what you... Anton fucking killed him. No, he didn't. Relax. I seem dead to you. Less than 48 hours ago, a Russian convoy was attacked by Chesnian rebels. 16 ounces of red mercury were taken. We believe Anton's behind it. If Anton gets the mercury into the States, that means he has the trigger for his bomb. With me dead, Anton feels he has the field clear, but we've got him covered. Right? You in? We need you, Jay. The courier arrived in Canada from Russia yesterday. The Canadian authorities searched him and found nothing. We now believe the Mercury was hidden in the rental vehicle that was reserved in his name. Our best guess is that he will attempt to drive across the border into Buffalo. They came to customs. These evil fuckers. They won't let an old man alone. Look at this. American tax dollar support. These fucking imbeciles are pulling their little puts. assholes and never know how close they came to a hundred million dollars. He did it. Picking up small traces of radioactivity. Mind you, if it was here, it's long gone by now.
Like the motherfucker. Set me up, didn't you? You were the only one I've ever met that I knew had a chance against him. <laughs> if you'd wanted me to kill your husband, why didn't you ask? Would you have? choice. Good. Very good. Do you know how many souls Rolf sent to heaven? You won't believe this, but he was a true saint. A real hero in every sense. He was fearless. Do you know the word 
bespedel. It means without limits. A nation needs men like that. Mm. Men who are willing to sacrifice anything, and I mean anything, for a cause. I knew Rolf since he was a child. We used to fight together side by side. First other gangs, and then the police, and then the fucked up government soldiers. He was one man in a million, and I knew that he would die for me. Tomorrow we consummate the deal that we've been working on since we fled the homeland. And I won't have my brat with me. Are you bespettled? No. Will you be my Rolf? Will you be my brother tomorrow? I am your brother. So Sands has a tail on the courier. You better watch his ass. We all better. We're not walking away from this, are we? I gotta ask you. You killed your partner, didn't you? Didn't you? I need to hear you say it. They don't spend money on clothes, but they got an impressive array of fucking guns, let me tell you. They hand me the money bags, and I say to them, okay, man, when shit hits the shore, I'm gonna give you a call. And they let me, they fucking let me right out of there with the hard earned. Easy in the islands, man. Lavase las manos. Crooked and sloppy would have blown my case or got me killed. You would have killed me if I had to. Is that what I have to look forward to? Yeah, I made a commitment. But I thought there were some rules, some kind of honor. I built my family on that. I work for the good guys. And I'm proud to be a federal agent. But this, this is a murderous, sex-crazed, bad acid trip. They did not prepare me for this shit. And you know what I'm most worried about? That I'm gonna be just as heartless and brutal as you. Say something. Kit, say something. Are you done? Yeah.
Today we consummate a deal that will change history. George Toba has made a sacrifice that will make all our dreams come true. Mr. Toba has traveled from the region of Dayston to be here today. He is a true patriot. And we are Bratsky Krug, a band of brothers. Enough. Let's get on with it. Mr. Toba has made the ultimate sacrifice. Already dying of heart disease, he transported the mercury in his body. Mr. Bay. This coffin is lead-lined. You can take the body anywhere you want, assuming, of course, that you get the cabbage. We have the money. Swiss bonds worth 100 million anywhere in the world. Very good. One moment. I would like to authenticate. You don't trust Anton? Of course. But I do not trust the late Mr. Toba. If you wish. I'll show you. It's very hot, no? I want to see what I'm buying. This man has agreed to have his life shortened. Slightly for the sake of honor and duty. And you want me to desecrate his body? I simply want to see what I'm buying. Okay. Gloves. Happy? Authenticated. To Anton. We will avenge ourselves on the American people for meddling where they do not belong. Fuck you. Sit the fuck down. How 
ourselves up for meddling where we don't belong, huh? What? Fuck these towel heads. I'm a real American. My family earned its money the old-fashioned way. We stole it. No way I'm gonna let anybody shit in my own backyard. Besides, we have the fucking bonds. What more do you want? Hey, we still got mercury, right? We'll sell it again to somebody else. Only not in the U.S. Kabish. I gave my word to the Serbs. This makes me look bad. <laughs> makes you look bad. Anton, that's a good one. You should do stand-up. This guy kills me, I swear to God. Is that funny to you? <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Think I'm funny? He's doing the Joe Pesci thing. <laughs> Shares are growing proportionately, no? Look at this. <laughs> For the trouble of blood. Federal task force, you're under arrest. I knew I smelled something. But you were good. Best I ever saw. Come on, get the fucking insane to be a cop. Come with me. I promise great fun and exotic places. You were under arrest, brother. Brother. Sick asshole! So pull the goddamn trigger, you pussy! 